I want to ask you, as in your role as Homeland Security t uh, Chief, what about this conversation we're having now about drones, about national security? We have a new CIA director who's likely to be confirmed, and you know him well. You've worked with him for a long time on counterterrorism. Right. Uh, have, do we have enough information that can be made public about the test, the legal tests, before the administration decides unilaterally to take action against citizens uh, overseas? Andrea, I fully support targeted uh, operations that have been carried out. I think the president has done the right thing. I think John Brennan has done the right thing. And I'm not trying to minimize this, but I think there's a lot of liberal hand-wringing going on over here. We're engaged in a war. And I went to so many wakes and funerals after September 11th. I don't want this to happen again, where I go to a wake or funeral and say to the survivor that your son or daughter or your husband or wife could be alive today, uh, except the person who's going to carry out the... Uh, uh, the attack, we knew where he was, but he was an American citizen, so we held back because we wanted to feel good about ourselves, or we wanted to turn over to a court to get a decision. No, the president is the commander-in-chief. He has the power to execute in, the, in time of war. You know, during the Civil War, every Confederate soldier was an American citizen. Abraham Lincoln didn't go to court to get approval to kill them. I'm not trying to minimize the loss of human life, but in war, this is going to happen, and the fact that a person may be an American citizen, to me, that makes it all the worse.